You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Sorry. I mean, I had too many things to do at the office, and you know how these things are so much files, so much work to do, and then. Baby, you know we have to spend quality time together. My love, you're right, and I'm terribly sorry. Okay, I just. Sorry, I'm gonna get back, please. Hello? Dave, please, can you call me back? Yes, I'm busy right now. Alright, dear, thank you very much. Bye. My love, I'm really sorry. So tell me, how is your marketing going? Well, my bank has um, placed shares for sale and that's why I'm here. Oh, obviously you're at the wrong place. What do you mean by that? Well, because here we really... <sighs> Please, I'm sorry. My boss. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, this is Kella. Definitely, sir. I'll be there right now. Yes, and the next five minutes, I'll be there. Thank you, sir. Bye. Baby, I'm so sorry. My boss wants me somewhere right now in the next five minutes. Well, I guess that's my cue to leave, isn't it? Oh, my love. Come on. I'm sorry. Promise you'll pick me up and probably call. I will. Love you. Let pick up my handbag. Okay. Hey Jake, good morning. If I don't call you, you will never call me to know how I'm doing, right? I was just about calling you later on today. I'm serious. Well, I'm just coming from Keller's office. Ah, how was she? I only called you just because he asked of you this morning. Oh, even if you hadn't called, I'd have still called anyway. The thing is, um, I'll be coming down to Lagos. Uh, because I have to take over from a sick colleague who's been flown overseas for dialysis. Okay, that's nice. Uh, when are you coming over? Precisely when I'm not sure, but I do know I'm coming in next week. How long are you staying? I think it's probably till when the guys in training take over from the weather finished. Uh, Jake, I really have to go now. I'll call you back when I'm done. I'm late for work, okay? Alright then. Alright then. Bye. How can they ask a grown man like me to just get up and start going down to the lake house, just like that? But Steve, I thought they told you about it earlier. Yeah, they did. Uh, I mean, the director told me that the controller of external operations had a kidney problem and had to be flown abroad for dialysis. To be honest with you, the truth is, I just don't like Lagos. <laughs> but I thought Jacob is in Lagos. So? You can at least put up with him for the meantime until, you know. Actually, I called him this morning. The problem is not accommodation. That's not my problem. My problem is that I just am not psychologically prepared to move down to Lagos. Period. Well, uh, Steve, I think it won't be such a bad idea to start off in Lagos, you know. Besides, your director must really trust your competence for him to send you down there. Yeah. But come to think of it, you wouldn't actually be missing anyone here in Abuja except me, would you? You're asking me. <laughs> uh, Steve, it's, it's really too bad. At least I have to uh, vanish into the air like that. It's too bad. Tabono, why am I so ill-fitted with women? 
The very minute I find someone I want to spend the rest of my life with, the person just vanishes like that. Hey, come on, Steve. You don't have to beat yourself, man. You don't have to beat yourself. Well, maybe it's for the best. Maybe she's going to be with the man of her dreams. Ah, come on. Get off it. How many times will I tell you that she has relocated to Port Harcourt? Then why didn't she leave a forwarding address? Isn't that the proper thing to do? Steve, I believe she will have a very good explanation for everything when you see her. That is, if you see her. Exactly. If I see her. That's the key word. If I see her. I mean, she could have left a forwarding address or something. And even if she didn't leave one, at least call me. Your phone was bad, remember? Your phone was bad. Anyway, let's leave all that. Let's talk about ourselves. So, how are you getting yourself psyched up for your assignment in Lagos? Hmm. What's there to expect? All those molewers and downfalls and all that. <laughs> I hope Jake lives somewhere close to work. It's something you just have to cope with for the meantime. You don't have a choice, man. <laughs> well, I'm sure you will fit in properly. Oh, she's here. Yes, sir. Uh, Justin, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Oh, please have a sec. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Kella would want to meet uh, Lisa Peters. Lisa, Kella Johnson. It's nice to meet you. Same here. Yeah, just like I told you before, um, Lisa here has been having problem adjusting to her new job in our public uh, relation annex. As a result of that, I have to pull her back here. Considering uh, Ms. Johnson's uh, worth of experience, I have asked her to move over there so that she could help us anchor things at that zone. That really wouldn't be a problem, sir. It's nice to have you here, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you very much for accepting to cover up my loopholes. Come on, I appreciate it. It's nothing, really. So, sir, how does it work? Well, I think you have to resume work immediately. Yeah, but there are a few things that you will help me tidy up uh, though before you leave. Consider it done, sir. I should take my leave. Excuse me. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. She's such an adorable, hard-working lady. Yeah, and very humble, I must add. Okay. Honestly, sir, thank you very much for understanding. Oh, you're welcome anytime. Huh? Well, I think you have to meet her at her office. There are certain things that uh, she would help you get oriented to. Oh, okay, right, thank you. Thank you. Steve, seriously, it's really nice to have you back. Thank you so much, Jayla. Mm. It's really good to be here. The only thing is, um, I wasn't quite psychologically prepared to come. Believe you me, your stay here will be worth its while. Trust me on that. Definitely, you're going to have fun. And by the way, I mustn't forget to say this, you look extremely beautiful, handsome, hot. Thank you. <laughs> and if I may say so, you look exceptionally beautiful. Thank you. It's been long I heard that. What? Yeah. Mm. When was the last time you told me how beautiful I am? And how many times do I get to see you these days? Jesus, I don't believe that. Steve, you see, your friend is no longer romantic. Rather, he has refused to be romantic. Okay. When last did you look at my face and smile and tell me, oh, Jake, you are so, so handsome. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jake, don't be such a nag! Oh, you're right. Don't mind him. It's just jealous. That's I guess so. Why are you going to Excuse me. I want to use the restroom. No problem. Well, it's... Uh, I must confess, I've missed your company. Me too. And once again, I say it's wonderful being back. Thank you very much for everything. I am so grateful. Oh, oh, you're welcome. So why don't we go and see the manager for formal handover? Okay, that's a nice down for you. Let's just do that real quick. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Jake. 
Oh, okay. I'll just do it for you by itself. Thank you. I'd be grateful. Come on, sit down. So, how is work? Fine, fine. I actually came to see if your manager would be interested in buying bank shares for your company. Oh, bank shares. Yes. You know, you could be lucky on this one. Really? Yeah. Um, the lady who just left, uh, who is she? Oh, that's Lisa. The lady I told you was swapping offices with me, places. Come on, Jake, the girl I told you about. Oh, yes, yes. That's her. Come to think of it, I think she's in a better position to help you on this one. How do you mean? Well, she's going to be occupying a very important position in the office right now. An abstract that, if she's very, very convinced with your explanations, you know, just consider the manager convinced too. I just still don't get. Well, the chairman has this fondness kind of, he likes her very much. Come on, not as you think. As a sister, he just likes her a good deal. All right. So, what has been happening to you? Work, work, work. The big, I'm running against this time. Seriously, I have to see the manager. Okay. Hey, let me get her out for you. Excuse me. To me, uh, the KT construction is not a priority for now. Huh? Just send these letters to Abuja, okay? I think that's all for now. Hello? Okay, send him in. Tony, come back. The man from Abuja is here. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Cooker. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah, morning. This is um, Tony Babajide. He will be working as your assistant. Oh. Tony, this is Steve Coker, the man I told you about. Okay, Thank you very much. Uh, Tony, you can go ahead with the instruction I gave you. I'll be needing a full report on that later. Okay? Yeah, you can sit down. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You're welcome, Steve. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you for accepting this uh, appointment, more especially on such a short notice. It's no problem, sir. So if you ever need anything, do not hesitate to call me. It's my duty to ensure that you have everything you need to make your work smooth. It's been my pleasure, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I will take you around. I'll show you your office. Because you're starting tomorrow morning. Yes. Shall we? Yes, sir. <laughs> businessman that I am, I would like to say the catalogue of your bank's financial undertakings over the past two years at least, specific to turnovers and their investments. You see, everyone would like to invest, but when it comes to the involvement of the bigger corporate bodies like our establishment here, we would like to be fully informed, <laughs> else this company will be jeopardized Future. Well, sir, I'll say at least it's a good thing that you acknowledge the prudence of this offer. Yeah. I'll organize the documents of the same, but it's up to you as to when I should. Um, uh, report. Oh, anytime, anytime. Or if you don't mind, uh, my secretary will soon be here so that both of you could uh, go on with the analysis of the offer. Uh, yeah, Lisa, come in. She's more conversant with the subject because uh, she was with our assurance and division in Abuja. Uh, please sit down. Thank you. Um, Lisa, this young man here is from Beach Bank PLC. 
And as a matter of fact, it has come with an offer of uh, shares for subscription. I want you to undertake him and engage him in a careful understudy of their bank's uh, turnover and investments for the past years. Please, after doing that, you can then make your recommendations. That's acceptable, okay? Okay, sir. Uh, I don't want frivolities here. Yes, sir. Okay. Gentlemen, you may not go with her. Yeah, or probably fix a meeting. As all my decisions with respect to this company will completely be based on her recommendations. Well, I assure you, you will not regret doing business with us. I did, man. I did. Offer, offer. What's up? Okay. So how's Jake? Hmm. That useless womanizer. He's still the same as before. Look, you better talk to that your friend, though. He's a sex maniac and doesn't seem like he wants to change. Well, that's Jake for you. Only God can deliver that young man. Oh, wow. So how's Abuja now? You have me just. Well, Abuja is still the same way you left it. Still the same way you left it. Uh, Steve, I called you because I have some good news for you. Yesterday I ran into Lisa's flatmate, Sandra. Do you still remember her? Yes, I do. Well, she told me she doesn't have Lisa's uh, current phone number, but she was able to give me the address of the company where she now works in what I called. Thank you, Jesus! Um, so, does the company have a number? Her company number, do you have it? No, I don't. I, don't. I guess you have to go to Potakot yourself and... Uh, Okay, that girl. Look, I will climb the highest mountain to find this girl. So you don't understand, Sabuno. This is the girl of my dreams. Look, I love this girl heart and so I will... Look, when I get... Listen, listen, Steve. Listen, Steve. Cut, cut that love talk. Just spare me that love talk, okay? I have a lot of work on my table. I'm very busy. Later, I will text the address to you, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. Jesus! Why will you stop fooling around with all these stupid tarts all over the place? Excuse me, that girl is not a tart. Then what is she? Look, she, she, she's a student. Of where? I, I just know she's a student and a very decent girl too. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob. What kind of decent girl would drink herself to such a stupor as this girl drank last night? Some of these students are PSWs. Professional sex workers, and you know it. Look, you have something good with Keller. Why don't you settle on that and make that relationship work? This is not following this stupid hey, girl. Hey, 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 hey. I beg, I beg. Her name is Mabel, and I won't stay here and what you call a prostitute. I don't care who she is or where she's from. Do you understand me? All I'm saying is. Very careful. Excuse me. Hi, baby. What was that all about? Oh, I just want to like, forget about my friend. He's just in a very bad mood. Is it me? It's all about me. Because that guy doesn't like you from a bit. So forget about my friend, okay? I promised you a good time. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'll continue giving 
hope so. So why don't you sit down and let me get to your transport mm -hmm. today, okay? Okay. All right, I'll sit there. Sit mm -hmm. there. in this game. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see now. <laughs> All right. I suggest you give up. Mm. All right. Continue and suffer the agony of defeat. <laughs> Thank God. God. If you see this chick. You see this chick taking over Keller's desk. Damn! Man, that girl is too much. Jake. What? I beg, I beg. Listen, if you see this girl, your eyes will even pop out of their sockets. I mean, she, she's S for sexy, I for intelligent, and, and she's drop dead gorgeous. And you know what? Jake wants that girl, believe me. Jake. What? You have a serious problem. Oh really? Yes, really. And it's gone past a chronic stage. So it could be a terminal flu, right? Exactly. <laughs> Look, just forget about the problem, alright? Because if you see this girl, you know what I'm talking about. My dear Jacob, I have no interest in seeing any other woman, apart from my love I left in Abuja. Don't tell me you're still waiting for that girl. Listen, you're seated with the master. Right? The master of human knowledge. And if you want my candid opinion, that girl has forgotten every single detail about you. Believe That is where you're wrong. Mm. Jake, <laughs> I know it's something you will not understand anything about. But what I shared with that girl was true love. I mean, there's no way we could have bonded the way I did with her. And she'll just forget me like that. So that's where you're wrong. So why hasn't she communicated with you? Well, um, I mean, anything could have gone wrong. I mean, there must be a perfect explanation. Something could have gone wrong ah, somewhere. Ah, beg, my guy. Listen, whatever it is that transpired between you and that girl is gone with the winds. Gone. All right? That girl has moved on with her life, and I suggest you do say. You're wrong. Tamuna gave me her address in Port Harcourt and I'm going there to see her this weekend. I'll find her. <laughs> well, before you go, just prepare for your heartbreak. And as for me, I'm just going to continue strategizing. Alright? Plotting my way into this new damsel's heart. Jacob. Are you telling me you're going after your girlfriend's colleague? May the good Lord have mercy on your terrible soul. Amen. Now can we play chess? Play. Let me beat you. Eh, hey, you're just a to your Romeo. Mm. Romeo. Look who is the empire sound you. No hate in that. Are you going to like you? Yeah, let him be. What's that? After how long you're coming to look for a bitch girl? She go. I actually um, brought a whole lot more than you would require. Really? Yes. Then let's see your presentation. What's the matter, Mr... Jake. The name's Jake. Jake. Yes. So what is amusing you? Nothing. I'm only trying to appreciate and behold the perfect icon of nature and beauty all rolled up in one package. Do you realize that this is an office? I'm also certain um, 
a whole lot of people must have told you you're very beautiful. But you see, I'll know that they don't mean it the way I do right now. Please, slow down on the flattery, okay? Don't call it flattery, my darling. You call it a honest remark. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we go ahead with the presentation? You see, I'd love to, but um, there's a slight change in plans. What are you talking about? I'd like to discuss business over lunch. It's much more rewarding and interesting. Besides, it's almost lunchtime. You know, we are supposed to be discussing a business that should benefit your company. Here you are inviting me out on a lunch date. It's called business over lunch. But if you call it a lunch date, who am I to say no? Don't you rather we seal this deal first of all before you start getting personal with me? Or would you rather lose the deal simply because you're trying to get at me? You see, I'm a winner. I'm certain I'll seal this deal and I'm also certain I would lose it. Forgive my expression of confidence it was in my family. Hmm. So, uh, do we do lunch? Oh, I must say, um, I'm really impressed with your proposal. Thank you very much. And I'm sure we'll do business together. And believe you me, I'll be most honored doing business with you. Um, I'll just have a chat with my boss, and then I'll get straight to all the necessary paperwork. Okay. So now that we're done with business, let's get down to all the details. Jake, don't you ever give up? I told you I'm a winner. I've won the first part, and I don't intend losing the second. Which is? Getting to know you better, being your friend, very good friend, a very close friend. But if we were not friends, we will not be here. We had just had lunch, we are having drinks now, and doing business together, don't you think? Lisa, the very first time I set my eyes on you, you stole my heart away. I mean, I don't even have the right words to describe your kind of beauty, so I'm not going to even try any form of description. I'm sorry if it hurts your ears, but you're beautiful. You're adorable. You're irresistible. Jake, you don't even know me. Listen, no matter how far you try to travel, you start with one step. This morning you woke up and you hardly knew who I was. Hours later, we had lunch and now we're having drinks. So isn't that a right step in the right direction? <laughs> you know, I must say that um, you really have a way with words. If you say so, I can't help but accept that. <laughs> oh! My lunch time is over. I have to take my leave. Thanks for the meal, thanks for the drink, thanks for everything. But I have to go back to the office now. All right then, and as a gentleman that I am, uh, I just say, I have to take the seat off. Thank you. miss cooking Same here, man. Remember all those great times you had in school? Cooking. Yeah, sure, I did. I do. You know I've always been a better cook than you. Eh? Yes. You? Better than me? Of course. Look at the curry you made. What about it? It's even sticking in my throat, sir. Ah, uh, please. <laughs> just shut up. And this is your second plate. Nah, but I, I have to make in the soup as well. Uh, rubbish. Man, Steve, um, I think I'm in love, man. With whom this time? 
Remember the girl I told you about? The girl taking over Keller's desk. Ah, 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 ah. I don't even want to hear anything about it. Please don't make me. There's pepper inside this thing. I don't want to throw. I beg, shut up. I know you're just trying to avoid this discussion. And so I am. Chronic woman, I said, my kid. What will you change? Everyone is looking very beautiful and gorgeous this morning. Thank you. You're welcome. I really had a nice time talking to you yesterday. Mm. Yes, I mean, I also missed your smile, your style, your fitness. Mr. Jaja. Yes. I would appreciate it if you'd stick to us doing business so you could make something fruitful out of this. It's like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. It's not that. It's just that I want you to take this transaction a bit more seriously. Of course I'm taking this transaction seriously. As serious as I'm taking it to. I spoke to my boss this morning and um, he has approved of your proposal. We will buy the stipulated number of shares and pending on the return of the dividends, we could actually purchase more. Now that calls for celebrations, right? Ah, oh, come on, darling. I know you want to smile. Come on, let it out. Come on, there you go. There you go. What am I going to do with you? You're going to celebrate this wonderful deal with me. I am going to cook you lunch. At my place. And you have no right to turn down this offer because it's from one very dear friend to another very, very dear friend. So, my place this weekend, no arguments, case closed. See ya. Mr. Jaja. Yes, darling. Your yeah. files. See, these things happen when one is doing business with a very, very beautiful employee. See ya. So, how have you been? Very well, thank you. And you? I'm okay. Listen, um... I'm really sorry I haven't called you all this while since I came back. I was very, very upset and disappointed. But I do understand. But why is Jake not back yet? Jake, uh, huh. I don't know. I mean, he's probably still at work. I, I tried calling him at work, but his phone switched off. Uh, you know Jake now. Crazy work ethics and this and that, lots of projects. I bet he's still at work at this late hour of the day. You know, you've never been good at lying, Steve. You know he's not working late. He's probably out there with some other girl having fun. You know, we're just like total strangers these days. He doesn't call me. He doesn't pick my calls. He doesn't come to see me. We used to be best of friends. Steve, I know that Jake is constantly cheating on me. Yes. Yes, I know. I still love him. I know he's never there for me whenever I need him. I still love him. This is not what I want for us. We're drifting far away from each other every day. See, I love him. I love him from the bottom of my heart. 
this is not what I want. I just... Listen, um... You guys just have to work things out. I mean, you're... Well, just look at it as a phase through your... your relationship. You can work things out. How can we work things out when he's never around? Don't you understand? We rarely see each other. Well, he says that you don't have time for him. I mean, for you it's work, work, work all the time, man. That's what he believes. How can you say that? How can you say that? He told me that he understands the nature of my job. It's okay. You know, um, I, I don't know what to say, but you guys just have to give each other quality time. That's the only way you're going to work things out. You just have to work out and say it somehow. Steve. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so confused. I Believe me, that girl is indescribable. You mean she's unimaginable? I mean, that girl is unimaginably pretty. <laughs> and believe you me, she can never be second to any woman in my life. And where does that put Keller? Oh, come off it. I mean, do you think Keller is the right girl for a guy like me? And what makes you think that this girl you've just met is the right kind of girl for you? Instincts, man. Instincts. Instincts. You said I will answer my question though. Where does this put Keller? For crying out loud, I hardly see that girl these days. She keeps giving me excuses of her being so busy when stuck up with work. <laughs> Who knows, she might be dating somebody outside. Jake. I think you're just making excuses for all the wrong things you are doing. Whatever, man. Listen, if you ask me, I think Keller is the right kind of girl for you. I mean, she's wife material. She loves you very much. I think you're throwing a good thing away. What are you now? Keller's advocate? <laughs> Jake, you don't know a good thing until you've lost it. Uh, Steve, I'm not ready for your sermons this morning, okay? Anyway, suit yourself. I'll be going to Potter Court this weekend. Don't tell me you're hell-bent on still seeing that girl. I am. And, above everything else, I'm going to prove you wrong. Well, um, my sweetheart is coming tomorrow. And um, that would have been the perfect time for you to see my new angel. But your loss. <laughs> Don't tell me this angel of virtue is so cheap and silly as to fall for your evil move so soon. Whatever, man. Let's go to work. Okay. Let's go, man. Jake, yeah. what are you doing here? Well, I came to thank you for your overwhelming contribution to the success of my dealings with your company. But you've thanked me like over and over again. Well, I also came to remind you about our lunch date this weekend. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I'm not free this weekend, you know. Remember I said no excuses? Look, Jake, I'm... It would hurt me if you do break my heart and say no, please, 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 please. Okay, <laughs> okay. We have a date. I can see you're done for the day. So do you mind if I drop you off? <laughs> oh, I see. This is a perfect plan for you to come and know where I stay, yeah? Precisely. Precisely.
Um, this is where I live. Thank you very much for the ride. Oh, you're welcome, um. So I get to pick you up Saturday 1 p.m., huh? Okay. But that doesn't mean I will just get to see you before then. What? Are you trying to take permission from me for stalking me? Come on, I just want to continue giving you rides every day, you know, like tomorrow, the day after, and the day after that. And why would you want to do that? I want to get to know you a whole lot better with each day passing. Besides, it's going to ease up traffic and stress of getting back home every day. Oh, wow. Now, you know I can't refuse such an offer, can why? I? I hope not. So, tomorrow? Alright, tomorrow. Thanks for the ride. All See ya. Right. Honestly, the guy has offered to be dropping me from work every single day. Wow. You know, any guy who is willing to drop you off from work every day would be totally crazy about you. Hmm. <laughs> crazy is a right word, girl. The guy is simply crazy. He would not even take a no for an answer. <laughs> Can you imagine? He has already invited me to come over to his house for lunch this weekend. <laughs> now, wow. I don't need chop lunch for house. <laughs> this is getting tall. Oh, really? Get serious, please. Okay. What's he like? He's cute. He's intelligent. He's um very gentle and quite funny. Sounds like someone is falling in love. Hell no. To fall in love again. I know that you're trying to save your heart for your Abuja love, but come on. This is reality. He's forgotten all about you. Won't you just move on? Because I know as we speak right now, he's probably somewhere in your hotel room or his house with some other chick professing love. He wouldn't do that. He was really in love with me. Thank God you said it yourself. Was. He was in love with you. Is he in love with you right now? I mean, you haven't even seen this guy. He, he's probably loving some other girl right now. What's, what's your problem? I mean, why don't you just accept the fact and move on with your life? You know he would never do anything like that. I'm sure that wherever he is, he still loves me. Okay, so why hasn't he tried communicating with you? Fine, I know that you lost your phone and all that. But there are a million and one ways this guy should have communicated with you. He doesn't just love you like he said anymore. Or he doesn't care about you anymore. Lisa, if you think this new guy is someone that you can trust and like, why don't you just give you guys a chance? So, uh, Lisa, tell me something I don't know, you know, something about you. Mm, nothing much to tell. I'm a young girl, single. Well, thank God for that. What did he say? <laughs> Nothing. Please go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I graduated from Obafemi Awolowo University where I studied English and Secretarial Studies. That was two years ago. I served in Abuja, secured a job in Port Harcourt, but I was transferred almost immediately to Lagos. Nice profile. I like it. Well, um, Jacob Jaja, a Nigerian of course, um, holds a BSc and a Master's degree in Marketing from the University of Ibadan. Works with the Marketing Department of Beach Bank, PLC. Single, still searching. Gentle, but radical. Very funny, but believe you me, very focused. I like a lot of good things in life, which also includes one very good-looking and intelligent Lisa Peters. Now, how about that for a little profile? Interesting. 
trusting. Lisa, I like you. I like you a lot. I know I might be pushy right now, but I'm willing to let things go naturally. But still, I'd be deceiving myself if I don't tell you how much I feel about you. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much for um, your concern, your feelings towards me. I, I really appreciate it. But like you said, I think you're being very pushy right now. I'd advise you allow things to flow naturally. If you are meant to be together, it will happen like magic. So, how long is the wait? However. However. to miss the plane. I'm coming now, please, just hold on. Hurry up! I will be fast. How's that girl of yours, the new girl? Well, um, we're kicking fine. We had lunch today too. Lunch? So that means she's not coming to the house anymore for of lunch? Of course she will. I mean, today's episode was just a teaser, you know, an appetizer waiting for the main course, huh? So your evil plans of sleeping with this girl are still in progress, is that what you were saying? Now, who was talking about sleeping with her? Jake, it's me you're talking to, I know you. <laughs> Look, forget about my problems and concentrate on yours. And if you want my candid opinion, you're going on a fruitless journey. I'm really feeling sorry for you. No, feel sorry for yourself. Look, I am going to Port Harcourt and I'm coming back with that girl. Look, I am in love. She's my, she's my perfect match and I'm not going to let that girl slip away from me this time. Come, Steve, tell me. How long did you date this girl? Um, about four months. Four months? <laughs> Look, Steve, just pack your bags, okay? I'll be here waiting for your testimony. Listen, oh you of little faith. Wait, and you'll be surprised. Look, I'm done. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. What are you laughing at? Keep on with your humanizing ways. I mean, he should be a nice guy for him to offer to drop you from work every day. I mean, there should be something in the name of love definitely around it. What do you think? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, what if Steve comes back with all the love, attention he showered at me when we was, were was still together? What am I going to do? I'm sure you're familiar with the saying that a bed in the hand is worth seven in the bush. Winnie! Yeah. I mean, why hasn't he tried contacting you since? How is he supposed to call me? Well, I warned you not to give your sister the old phone and the old line. Why don't you just give her a new line, but you refuse and that's just careless enough to displace it? I've, I've tried to reach him. I mean, I've called his line. His phone is not going through. It's still not working. So, what are you going to do? Throw away the new guy? I know that I still feel something for, for Steve. Oh dear. Sorry, darling. I'm going to Abuja to look for him. Fine! So why don't you just start talking your words now? You know, you're just the longest person to confide in. Oh, really? Even I thought you'd be your friend. Well, you are welcome to my poor and humble abode. <laughs> Did you say poor? I think this is very beautiful. Well, I'll say thank you to that. You will have to 
pardon my carelessness, it's one of my ugly sides. I'm yet to see any of your ugly sides. Well, of course, speaking about that, um, time will definitely tell, huh? Um, I think you should go into the kitchen and get started with the cooking. The cooking? Yeah. Okay, um, why don't you sit down first of all, huh? Thank you. Alright. And of course, feel free to look around, huh? Thank you very much. I'll, I'll be just fine here. Right. You know what? What? This food actually tastes better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, please, just go ahead and flatter me, huh? Oh, no, seriously. I mean, I have not had something this nice from a guy in a long time. Trust me. Well, my friend and I believe that a real man should be able to do proper justice in the kitchen for his woman. Our main hobby here is cooking. I see. Mm. You and your friend seem to be very close. Where is he? Well, he went back to his former base and you know, to get something precious to him that he misplaced. You'll get to see him soon. soon. Um, we are quite you know, common in so many fields. The only difference is that I'm much more outspoken. I see. Mm, once again. The meal is great. You're welcome. So, um, thanks for coming over. Thanks for inviting me over. Honestly, I haven't had this much fun in a while. Same here. Um, Lisa, honestly, what I feel for you is true. You know, I just wish you could give me a chance to express my true feelings for you. And I know you would not regret it. Jake, I honestly understand you. You know, I feel like I've known you all my life. I'm not feeling any restraints whatsoever, you know, but I I need some time. You need to give me some time, like I said. But, you know, I need to think and... Oh, come on, my darling. Don't fight your true feelings for me. What I feel for you is true. Right? What you want is right here, right now. So don't look for answers. 
just accept me. And I'll make you happy. Thank you very much. I have to go now. Um, did I get a burger for me? So she's here in Lagos, huh? Yeah, man! She was, you won't believe it, she was transferred here but barely two months after she resumed the port Harcourt. Okay. Mm. You have a number, right? Uh, that's where the problem is. The number they gave me was the same number that has been out of service. But you have a company address? Sure. It's here in Lagos, somewhere in Surulere. I'll be going down there on Saturday. Saturday? Why wait till then? <laughs> I have loads and loads of work to catch up on. And the kind of reunion we're talking about is not the one that will take just a few minutes. So, I want to finish all the work I have for this week and then have enough time for her on Saturday. Which is a half day, so killing two birds with a stone. Steve, honestly now, are you sure you still want to go in search of this girl? As sure as my nose is on my face. Well, I'll say best of luck. Thanks. Well, now I'm back. My portal court. Yes? Where are you going? I have an appointment to catch. You have an appointment to catch? Yes. Have you forgotten what today is? Saturday? I don't understand. You don't understand? What did we agree on doing today? What did we agree on? Hey, this guy has forgotten. You've forgotten what you promised to do today. With me. Oh! We're supposed to go look for Cinderella, right? Are we meant to do that this early? This early? You've forgotten that people do not do full days on Saturdays. <laughs> look, Stephen, you'll have to give me a couple of hours, alright? I have to take my sweetheart shopping and then I'll bring her back home. And you know what, um, we three could go look for a long lost love together, huh? A couple of hours. Yes. Ah, come on man, I'll be back before you know it. Huh? Jake, you had better come back on time, home. This boy is so unserious. Now it's up to four hours now. Oh, 
How long I've been waiting for you? And you know where I'm going. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, my God. Steve! Lisa! Steve! Lisa! Oh my God, Lisa! Oh. Uh, where, where have you been? I've been looking for you for ages. I've searched high and low everywhere for you. Uh. Jake, you are a genius. You are a genius. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I knew you were up to something. You mad. I could strangle you, you know? Lisa! Lisa! Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, excuse me? Excuse, excuse me, you two know each other? How did you do this? I knew you were up to something right from the minute. And you knew I was... Lisa! You know what? Um, S Steve! Hello. Uh, excuse me? Excuse what? Me? What? What is it? Steve! Hmm? I... I don't quite follow. What's going on? How do you mean? Look, um, you know what? Um, why don't you no matter? Uh, no, let all three of us just go out, have a drink, and you know, um, just give me a second. I'm coming. We're well, leaving from here. Just a minute. Steven. Excuse me. I think there's a slight misunderstanding somewhere because that girl outside is my girlfriend. No, there's a problem somewhere. That is Lisa, my girlfriend in Abuja. I went looking for a port -hacot. Look, I don't think you know what you're talking about here because that lady out there is my girlfriend. You know, the one I've been telling you about, Lisa, my girlfriend. That is not possible. The girl out there is my Lisa, my girlfriend. Steven! Don't come here to ruin my fun, alright? You go back to Potakot, Bakasi, or wherever that girl is to look for her. Because that one out there is my girlfriend, my woman. And I'm going to entertain her with my own bottle of drink. So. Let 
matter go. How? You, have you seen what you've cost? Have you, have you seen what you've cost? Listen, if anything happens to that dog, you have me to deal with. You understand me? Anything happens to her, you have me to deal with. You open the gate! Come on, Jake, open up. I know you're there. Jake, what's all the fuss about? Is Lisa around? No. You guys went out together, didn't you? Yes, we did. So, what happened? Look, nothing, okay? Are you sure she's not in? <laughs> I told you Lisa is not around, but if you want to come check a look, you can. Now you're making me really nervous. What happened? Look, when she gets back home, all right, you tell her I came looking for her and that she should call me, all right? Sure, I would. But have you tried the mobile? It's turned off. Uh, Jake, are you sure you didn't do anything to hurt my friend? Uh, just give her the message, will you? Okay, I would. But I have something in the microwave and I have to go and tend to it, so. Bye-bye. Jake, will you please just no, listen to no, me? Let's no, talk no, about no. this. I want to know what all that was about. What was that drama all about? Jake, what sort of game are you playing? Okay, yeah. Oh, you think it's a game, right? You know I've always been better than you. Is that why you want to destroy my happiness and joy? Are you insinuating a view or jealous? Yes. I mean, how can you call my girlfriend yours? Okay. The same girl you came here with is the same girl I went to Port Harcourt to go and look for. That's the same girl I've been telling you about all this while. How did she know my name? Will you just stay clear? Stay clear of my woman? No. You stay clear of my woman. Do you understand me? You think she's one of these girls you come back with late at night? I can't remember the names in the morning. I have searched for that girl everywhere but to no avail. And if by tomorrow I don't find her, believe me, you'll have me to answer to. Jake, 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 listen to me. Jake, I'm talking to you. Jake, open this door. Jake. Jake, come on now. What's wrong with you? Why are you behaving so childishly? Open this door. What's happening to me? What's happening to you? Jake. We are running out of control. Jake, please talk. What happened to Jake, come back here now. What's wrong with what you? Happened Jake! What happened to our heart and soul? Hey man, now man, we really need to talk. Jake, I am talking to you. Why are you taking this thing too far? It would be in your best interest to stay clear out of my sight. I'm going to look for my sweetheart. And if I were you, I'd pray so, so hard that I find her. Until then, I've got nothing to say to you. You hear me? No, think. Confusion is all over. There's trouble in paradise. I need to speak with Lisa. Jake, what do you want? Winnie, I know she's in there. I need to speak with Lisa, please. Kind of like I've told you she doesn't want to see you. Jake, it's me. Just go away, okay? Go away. It's me. Look, Winnie, it's me, Jake. Alright? I need to speak with my girlfriend, Lisa, please. Come on, my darling. Come on. How can 
I make a fool out of a woman who means the whole world to me? How can I bring tears to eyes that have put a smile on my face? Jake, what happened yesterday? Was that supposed to be a coincidence? My darling, believe you me, I had no idea. I never knew the two Now of you know! to give me some time but you will not listen now look at me i, I am i am so confused i don't even know what to do Come on. how can you be confused what is confusing you you think you're still in love with steve Darling, that relationship ended a long time ago do you actually think oh no, to stop it do you think you know what i think no you don't have an idea of what i'm thinking I said I want to be left alone. Please! It's Wounded man and then like a baby. And we were like strangers under the same roof. Are you telling me he's quarreling with you over your girlfriend? But that's exactly what I've been trying to tell you all morning. Steve, uh, are you sure it's the same Lisa you saw with him? I said even blind Bartimaeus would have recognized her. She called my name now. It was her flesh and blood. And do you even think that this womanizer has been all over all this while? Listen, see, the last thing both of you need right now is to throw your friendship overboard because of a woman. But that's exactly what um, Jake is doing. Steve, if he's been a baby over the issue, then why don't you be the man? Listen, Steve, I know the both of you very well. We're all like brothers. And I trust you to handle the situation in a more mature way. Okay? Search within yourself. You'll know what to do. Now, um, if I have my free period, I'll be in Lagos to the next available flight. Okay? Okay, I gotta go now, Steve. We must be what we have so Life will never be the same. I'm talking to you. Someone has pulled the trigger. There's trouble in paradise. Oh, everyone is going to pay. You have a wonderful woman like Killer in your life. And now you want to ruin my life with the woman I love? What kind of rubbish is that? Nobody has a right to tell me who I should be with or who I shouldn't be with. Not even you, Steve Cook. 